we were talking about my favorite car, which is a question that I get asked quite a bit. And usually my response is, well, you're a your parent, their parents have multiple kids. How can you pick your favorite child? They're all special. Good, good and, and really, that is one of the fantastic parts of the Riyadh Car Show, that there are cars for sale and at auction that really fit the individual interests of potential owners. Mm -hmm. So if you're into collecting classics, things that are restored meticulously, they're here at the show. If you're into, like this one, I guess. there's well, that that's a classic, classic luxury car. I mean, look at this vintage Rolls Royce. It's gorgeous, and it's sitting right next to a pickup truck. We equate pickup trucks with with hauling dirt and rocks and um, other types of cargo. This has been modified for the street. This is a street truck, and it's I mean, it's just the lines on it, the um, the modifications, um, it's just beautiful. Every car here has, tells a different story and it really is about um, fitting a potential owner or the builder's particular taste. Because of course, you are what you drive. Of course. What you drive is a reflection of your personality. Um, people that are into this industry, they're not satisfied with owning a car that is exactly like their neighbor's car. Unique, I think, is the big They want to be unique. unique. And you become unique through products from the specialty equipment industry. There's a whole industry of companies that enhance the styling mm -hmm. and performance of cars, pickups, and sport utility vehicles. Okay. And so if you want to, I don't know, go camping, there's products that make you a better camper. If you want to perform on the street, there's products that make that enhance the performance. So it really is an interesting celebration of those those products and those people that make them. And are they like restored, or they're still in their original, like the contents, for instance? Or it, you know, it's like, it's for the full spectrum. Some some cla of the classics that are here on display have been restored with factory original parts from the era in which the vehicles were built. Others are being um, restored using new products. Um, and so it's, it's really all over the map. And uh, the fun is, they're just, they're, they're beautiful. It's art, it's rolling artwork. And um, this collection is as good as you'll see anywhere in the world. It's spectacular. The diversity of the products that are here, there really is, something for everyone and that's what makes this show so special is that there is there's a wide range of cars here it's not just a specific slice it's a smorgasbord um it's a buffet of cars yeah, i mean I'm, I'm my mind is gone it's like <laughs> i wish i had all the money in the world <laughs> and what what i love about this show too is that the builders the people that created these cars ryan friedlinghouse the creator of Pimp My Ride. Ryan is here with cars from West Coast Customs. Chip Foos, Dave Kindig, Richard Rollins, Noah Alexander. I mean, these are the... the they will be here in the, in the Riyadh car They're going to be here displaying their cars and selling their cars. So all in one fans, place. I mean, this, it, it could get any better. And you know Goldberg, the wrestler? Uh -huh. Goldberg is here with one of his cars to sell. So it's, you know, it's just going to be a, a lot of fun for us car guys and gals to get together. <laughs> Saudi now, you know, women can drive so they could own a car and uh, it's not just for guys, so guys and girls, as you said. Do you know, we just um, heard that uh, NHRA just finished their season championship. We had asked Erica Enders, who is a very, um, very successful NHRA driver, to, um, we invited her to come mm -hmm. and, and really serve as uh, a, a, a person of inspiration and um, somebody that we can we can all learn from she just won her third world championship yesterday wow and she's coming and here she's coming here yeah so it's going to be a lot of fun so this would be considered like a pimp car or just an engine i mean excuse my ignorance but the, so this some like i see a, a big engine like that. so this is a restored car this this car is um believe it or not 
This is, they, they used to sell these in dealerships wow. like that. Now this has been, that, this has been restored and it's in it's beautiful like condition. That? It's gorgeous, yeah. It's muscle car. The muscle car, muscle car. yeah. Factory muscle car. This is another factory supercar. I mean, it's spectacular. Um, and uh, we've got some incredible um, modified cars too. Um, that uh, these are modern, but modified. So modern, modern modified. Yes. Uh, really, they're they're all very special, and uh, they don't have to be super expensive to be special, but, uh, <laughs> but that doesn't hurt. <laughs> or it's something that you're, you're a fan of, I mean. But even at this car show, even the walls are special. These, this artwork that you see, this one from uh, Max Grundy, there's artwork from Alex Carmona. Oh, um, so they're not just This isn't pictures or just or any pictures. The These are from famous American automotive artists that have come here to display their work and connect with people um, in, in a visceral way. So it's not just about come by and go, it's more like an experience. Yes. You know, for a car lover to see the different cars, to meet with car owners and... Right. So you, you get to see some beautiful examples of, of the specialty equipment industry, the performance industry. You get to meet with the people in a lot of ways that are behind those products, that created those products. You get to see the cars. There's music that you get to enjoy. Uh, there's artists that create the, uh, the artwork that we see surrounding it. It really is an experience. Um, it's not just a car show. It's, uh, it really is something that, that involves fashion. It involves travel. It involves art. It, it, I mean, there are people from all over the world coming either to display or to view or even buy the cars. Others yeah. are coming to enjoy the whole atmosphere. You said there are these artists that are here. I can't wait. So, you know, it really is. Can we fast forward like a couple of days from now <laughs> to be in it right away. You know, I wish we could too. We're ready. I'm sure you, I'm sure you know, like, okay, let me just do it well, give me a few more. And it's, and you know, there's the, the people who are joining us at the show as attendees, as exhibitors, as car builders. Um, they all share this common passion for, for these vehicles and they love to talk about them and show them off. They are their pride and joy. They are, you know, the car is at the center of the lifestyle and there's all types of activities and, and things that revolve around it. And so it's not just a car sitting here. They all have stories and they all have passion. So it's great. So I wanted to mention one awesome part about the market here in Saudi Arabia. Because there are three things that make a successful specialty equipment market. A special, at three things that, that make a, a great marketplace. Mm -hmm. We look for enthusiasts that have a passion for modified cars and trucks. Okay. We, we look for large groups of enthusiasts that know that their car is a reflection of their personality and they embrace it and they, 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 love, they love that. We also look for an economy where there's discretionary income, where people can afford to modify their vehicles. And the final thing is a government that supports it. And so those three elements are key to to a successful specialty equipment industry and we're, we're seeing it here. We're seeing exactly. it thrive here mm -hmm. and so we're so happy to be a part of it. There's so much buzz around the world about this show and the statement that it's making because it's this isn't just any car show. There are car shows every weekend that are really a lot of fun to participate mm -hmm. around the world every weekend. There's there's, there's cars and coffee, there's um, different types of car shows. This one includes so many elements, wow, so many amazing. elements that each and every one of them would make an amazing show. But to have them all here at once is, is, a, is groundbreaking. It's a showstopper. This, yeah. Everybody is paying attention to what's happening here in Riyadh at the Riyadh Car yeah. Show. 
and it's not just an auction and, and you know a, a direct sales but there's also the Hot Wheels there's <laughs> also like the Terry Mustang Grant you've got Terry Grant here and the, you've yeah, got Goldberg Fire. and celebrities like Goldberg Emerson Fittipaldi Dave Kindig Ryan Friedlinghouse Chip Foose I mean you can lose count it's overwhelming what what all is here there's carding down the right just, over yeah, yeah, go cart the guys from Hoonigan are going to be here doing their doing their bit um, the police academy right next door this is uh, this isn't just a three ring circus this is a festival this is a festival like anything I've ever seen Adrian Janik we're in her booth here <laughs> so the, the, here would be like the car owners or car so there's um, so the, how many how many how many how many car makers are going to be here so OEMs like uh, General Motors. Um, there's uh, actually very few companies that actually make cars, mm -hmm. but there's going to be hundreds of companies that modify cars. And sprinkled through the entire campus here at the Riyadh Car Show are people who modify cars, people who mm -hmm. make accessories that you can put on your car to enhance the styling and performance mm -hmm. of the car that you have at home. Those experts are all here, and they're all accessible. Do you have a number? Well, there's 250 just in the um, in the exhibit spaces mm -hmm. that that we're hosting, mm -hmm. and um, you know I assume that throughout this show there's there's many many more, but there's 450 cars that that we've brought from the states, mm -hmm. and uh, 250 manufacturers who manufacture different types of accessories, they'll all be here too. Sorry, I have uh, my PR guy is on the phone. But a total of 1,200 cars that are coming? So I think... You know, like between luxury, between... You know, what you get that in addition to the 450 vehicles that, that we've um, worked on and brought here, there's several hundred additional ones, over a thousand in total that are here at the show. And the great thing about this show is while there are hundreds and hundreds, over a thousand cars, no two cars are, are exactly the same. 